<laughs> so um, we're coming up on it right now. It's it's gonna be light versus Dorma Dormiggy. Dorma Dorm Dormiggy. Dormiggy. All right, Min Min versus Fox. What do you think about the matchup there, brother? Uh, one of the better matchups to fight Min Min with. Like the over aggression is gonna be the one area that Min Min is gonna get a little bit more pressure than usual with. There's definitely a lot of edge guard potential, and Dora Miggy is the most aggressive Min Min, especially when it comes to offstage play like that. Yeah, you looked away for two <laughs> seconds. I didn't look away, I got it right. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a second monitor, you're yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. But yeah, and that, that's gonna be the how the ball rolls in this matchup. It's gonna be a battle of advantage states. That's that's what most sets featured Fox tend to devolve into. Because but, but it's like the extreme of both ends. Yeah. Both Min Min has a weak uh, disadvantage state on stage, but a ridiculously strong one off stage. Yep. Uh, advantage state off stage. So it's really uh, a volatile matchup that it can kind of go either way. It absolutely can. And, and it's all about who plays better in these situations and how well Light is able to mix up his defensive options. And again, the usage of that Ram Ram to catch a high recovery from Light. Perfect. I mean, and, and the way that Dormiggy hangs out there as well. No, not just hangs out there. Like, willingly goes out there as if Min Min didn't have a bad recovery herself. Like, there there seems to be no risk factor in the going off stage part in advantage for Dormiggy. It's way, always worth it. Oh, to. my God. Beautiful, too. Mike coming back into this thing with a bunch of up airs. Nearly a kill percent, too. Let's see. All right, going to get back fine. Yeah, good patience. Good mix up from the American. Wow, awesome ledge play there from Dora Miggy. Again, a masterclass in just that. Showing you what you can do with Min Min offstage all the time. Right now, Light clearly looking for either a Nair up smash or a back air for the kill. One of the main uh, ways people tend to try to gimp Min Min is, wow, uh, by falling offstage with lingering attacks. In this case, Fox could do a run off Nair, run off air, or even try to shine spike. Uh, and we're consistently seeing Dormiggy attack the ledge before going to grab it whenever possible. Oh, that rapid jab's going to take some presentable. Which we might see here as well. Only a 20% oh. deficit at the moment. However, there is stage control for Dormiggy. Oh, he, man. He, he got stuck in side B, like, yeah. like, yep. like drifting almost. Well, so whenever you input a move or whenever you air dodge or something, you put in an option that isn't your DI. It stops DI. It stops your DI for a little bit. The, mm -hmm. Like, no matter how much momentum you with, stop. With, with exceptions, there, there are moves that can completely stop your momentum. Yeah, PMLG from Steve. <laughs> but even, like, Anvil or Minecart from Steve. Yeah, like, just do very good Steve jobs of general. stopping your momentum. Well, I mean, that's not even necessarily, like, the side B one, because sometimes um, with, with Banjo's side B, you lose that a little bit on startup as well. Mm -hmm. Steve's Minecart startup's a little bit faster, but... So it's almost unnoticeable, unless you're in a situation like... like what that you said. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're back in it. Game two coming up here. We got all that battlefield or small battlefield. Yeah, and, and I'm going to be real with you. Be real with me. I, I would love to. FD is completely off the table from light. Like, oh, yeah. He cannot go there. Oh, no. The extensions he gets on the He needs to be able to land sometimes and yeah. also be able to push advantage. Exactly. More. That's why he's – actually, that's the entire reason he's in the set, and that's why he, that last game was so close. The extensions he got on his platforms, the way he was able to catch the defensive options whenever Dormiggy missed attack on the platforms, too. And now he's just shredding them 80% unanswered. Wow. Does not want to let any of this go. It's important because any little interaction can lead to Fox's death between Min Min offstage. And so he's got to make sure that every time he gets an opening where he gets an advantage like this, this is the advantage he gets. 100% unanswered. For most esports teams, the, the variety of players, you don't, you don't often see too many common factors amongst most of the players because you want to have a, a diverse roster just to cover all your, all your boxes. Here's the thing about Moist. They always have hype, high-flying, forward-pressing players. You know, Light, Goblin, um, Cola, who we just saw too, they all just press forward. And they're not rattled by any setbacks. They just keep going back into the fray. That's the thing that makes Light such a good player to watch, and that's why everyone loves him. Just immaculate play all around. He, he he gets to play advantage almost as if Min Min doesn't have an air dodge option. Yeah. He's just always holding in for the next hit and then going to react to air dodge accordingly afterward. Yeah. Fox, with that speed, able to do that. But you, you mentioned the air dodge a little bit earlier. Dormig is getting a lot of survivability out of it. The big thing, though, is that Light is taking those notes. He's like, okay, I'm going to pressure you next time. If that air dodge comes out, I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to hit you. Great landing catch. 
any little hit, he's immediately looking for the landing thing he can cover. Okay, now two hits, looking for more, starting to stack it up, rolling thunder, pushing him to the ledge. However, he's gonna go high and avoid all of that. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna have a drop zone edge guard attempt come in soon from Light, but he needs to get back to stage first. Yeah, Light is one of the lightest characters in this game, so those uh, powered up F smashes are gonna be very, really very, strong. very strong. I believe he's what, fifth lightest in the game? Around there. I think he's tied with Sheik. Really good up B there. Yeah. Avoiding going. all of Min Min's attempts and getting back. It's just a good spot, you know. No, just too far away from Min Min to get a good spot out of. Hang on, here's the fire. It's going to dodge it. Nice. Going low quicker. Ooh. Oh, the two frame. That's and you have the it. 103% needs to close this out really quick. Doesn't want to get grabbed. Fox, one of the hardest characters to grab. Like, see. The key for Dormiggy is, is to make, whenever Light gets off stage, to make him go for that side B because the startup time on the side B gives him ample time to put a couple arms in his face. Or set up something, like a ledge trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Ooh. gonna cost him. Even Light was saying nah. Yeah, not quite enough. That's enough. That ain't Joker, that ain't Violet. Oh, but he's smacking his leg there. Dude, Light, he is so confident. Even after losing game one, game two, he took it back, and now he's feeling himself. I think Light's up 2 0. No, no, no Dormiggy won game one. Oh, wow. Sorry. No, you're good. I swore for that's some reason. That's why I'm no, here, I baby. Swore, I, swore, I swore for some reason when I had recently just looked at the score that I had set up for me. That's just me. My bad, guys. All good. All good, brother. I'll own that one. And we're going to go back to small battlefield. Dormiggy not liking any other stage in this matchup. <laughs> Parrying the down smash off rip. Dormiggy knows his close quarters options. He's not afraid to press those buttons. See, we're going to have a drop zone after. Nope, staying on center stage. Not trying to let him out of the corner. Yeah, but he held Laser. the grab jab a little bit longer than you would expect him to. Just because he knew his opponent was in the corner yeah. and the hurt box shifting would start for an extra bit. Great patience there. One of my favorite things when I see players that have advantages do a little bit of hot and cold, where they could press forward more, but they want to cut your escape. Oh! Oh, is he back? No, no but neither, neither is Dormiggy. That's all right. We take those. Pure like. trade there for Dormiggy. And they're both taking a second, just looking at each other. What if we stared lovingly in each other's eyes on the, <laughs> on the platform? Andrew platform? Yeah. During uh, top 32 of <laughs> Circle in Orlando, Florida. At Broadway, Broadway Lanes. Oh, no jump. Going to be forced to downer, gets away to an auto cancel sidestep. All right, drag down drill. Goes for the forward air, too. Get that extra percent on the board. Jumps over both arms. Get him attacking and get him back on. He's got to answer back. Good dash attack, keeping that damage rolling. Keeps the advantage staying. However, ooh! Knew that his opponent was just going to jump and whiff too early. Caught the lazy drift in after the ram ram came out far too early. I've, I've also seen situations where Fox's dash attack can go over getup attacks sometimes. Yeah, I have too. Uh, I don't think Min Min's is that small for that ability to happen, but I have seen it too. So you might be right. Yeah, we I, might be seeing some of that here as well. Over extension, over aggression, but with calculation. Powered up arm is in the pocket for Dormiggy. Going to get back against all odds. <laughs> he recovered high too. It's a scary recovery unless your opponent's in that specific spot. There's the up smash answering. 80% on the board for Dormiggy. Light just needs one good confirm. He was looking for it there. Oh, he almost got gimped. But Dormiggy had trouble leaving the stage there for a second. Oh my gosh, this is tense because you know one good advantage state from Dormiggy could spell disaster for Light and his victory helps. Oh, again. Got to get back to center stage. Jet lag ain't slowing this man down. Jump fair for extra height. So much pressure from both players. Man, Dormiggy's just rolling, rolling, rolling. He and just eventually, does it. Eventually, he's going to rip on that. Stands up like the game's already over. Game is, the set isn't. See, I don't know if this is an American thing or if people in Japan or other areas do this, but like doing the I won. I'm supposed to ban stages. I'm going to ask you if you want to run it back instead of you thinking about bans and counter picks. The tri states. Let's just keep playing. Let's just keep playing. Yeah, this yeah, is a fun game. Let's do it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. 
that's a very northwest thing, or not, not northwest. Not sure if the sage is going to make a huge do. difference in this particular situation uh, outside of the final D thing. I think any sage's platform is going to be pretty much the same here for the matchup, but let's see what happens. I am inclined to agree, but I, I, again, this is a small enough stage that I think Minmin can benefit significantly from it as well. I don't really think it's that much of a difference. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely seeing uh, uh, just a showing of, of skill from both players that, like, you don't get to see everywhere, you know? Absolutely. Not a display like this in the country at the current moment. Dormengi looking to join Mia in the winner's side of winner's quarters. The only other Japanese player who's left in winner's bracket. Going for that down tilt, but going to get him punished and losing some stage over it, too. I mean, the percentages say that Light's in the lead, but considering how light he is, it's a pretty much even game. How light he is. That was not a pun on purpose. It was one on accident, however. Oh, but that Ram Ram, not Ram Ram, sorry, Megawatt. Nothing accidental about that. Gonna be it. Oh, nice up air, not gonna kill though. If you got the initial hit, lands no, with the down air into spot dodge. Just second guys. time, he's gotta be scouting for that more. He has to know that when he's doing the down air from a certain height, it's not because it's gonna be laggy, it's the good one. Yeah. Okay, not gonna get the punish, again. yeah. We have seen Light being able to punish those a lot after he avoids the initial grab. Sense is trying to even up yet again. Spot dodge down tilt to avoid the grab from Light. Oh boy. But Dora Miggy right back in the blender. Parried and up tilted him. His up tilt was able to hurt box shift, so he avoided the Nair. And he was able to get the hit off. That's crazy. Nair grab. Very strong uh, option to use versus people with tethers, by the way. But dash attack back there. hit dash attack, too. That's a classic. And that also, if that beats some people's get-up attacks, yep. you could be right but wrong, you know, yeah. for trying to get-up attack. You did the correct option, but we got you magic died for it. And we got another edge guard. Whoa. No jump. Down tilt to up smash. That's a Greninja attack. Light is saying, yep. this is where I hold them. This is where I fight. He's holding the lines, man. God. And extra, laser. That extra laser. Extra <laughs> That's insane, man. That, whenever I see the extra laser, that's where I feel like the set's over. Like he's feeling himself like way too much. Dor Miggy, deer in the headlights right now. We have another throw. Not letting him breathe. And that's what you got to do against that's him. That's it. That exact same situation happened last game to end it. That roll rate right into the up smash. Well, what do you do? You know, you're getting back aired. You don't have a good enough grab to contest it without preemptively doing it, leaving you to be susceptible to, oh, I didn't back air, I did double jump, and now I back air you for free because you threw out a tether grab. It's it's really spotless play versus someone that is trying to kill you in the corner, and they have kind of slower options than usual, so you can just kind of sit there until they either jump out of the corner and get back aired or try to roll out like that, and we saw what happened. Either way, he gets the job done every single time, and he will find himself a spot into winner's quarterfinals. 3-1 over Dora Miggy. Yeah, yeah, after a very convincing game one. Well, I mean, it was a close game one, but Dora oh. Miggy looked very, very, very self-assured of the matchup. And after after game two, he, he looked so rattled that entire set. Um, so Light will be advancing to play against Peebnuts from Winthrop University uh, in winner's quarters. We also have Spargo and T going at it. Oh, I forgot T was still in winner's bracket. That's my bad. Because, uh, yeah, he, he got that DQ win over Zomba. So he will be playing Spargo next block. Then it's Mia Tweak after that. So we have T and and Mia Yep. still in winners. Uh, it looks like we're going to have Shattuck and Aaron yes. next on stream here. Yep. Shattuck free.